When I first saw this piece, I knew it had some really good bones and there was just a little peek of what might be under all of that paint. So let's see what we can do. It looks like somebody spent a lot of time uh, painting the designs on this, and I'm sure they loved it. I'm sure they were very, very proud of it, but it's not quite my style. So I am going to take off all that paint, see what's underneath, and give this piece a whole new life. When I opened up the top drawer, I got a really nice surprise. There was a label in it that listed all of the different woods that the piece was made from. I've never seen this on a piece before. If anyone else has, uh, let me know. I don't know if it was the manufacturer. There's no manufacturer listed, but it was pretty exciting to find that tag. The only hidden treasures I found in this piece were these tassels. I don't know if they were hanging from a couple of the handles, maybe. What do you guys think? The paint was really thick, so I decided to use some stripper to remove the majority of it. I try not to use stripper where I can, but in some situations like this, it really is the best option. It is just so darned messy though.
I neutralized any residual stripper using some mineral spirits and scrubbing it in with some super fine steel wool. After that, I wiped the whole thing down with just a wet rag. I used a couple of the attachments from my carbide scraper to get the paint out of some of the finer grooves. I ended up hand sanding some of the finer details on the piece. After sanding, I noticed that some of the paint was still down into the open grain of the walnut sections of the piece. So I applied a little bit more stripper and used some super fine steel wool to scrub it out. Because I wanted to highlight the different types of wood that were used to make this piece, I decided to use a tongue oil finish. After about 15 minutes, I buffed off any excess and I did end up using two coats of the tongue oil finish. The drawer knobs and all of the hardware I soaked in white vinegar overnight and then just took a little steel wool and buffed them clean. After the hardware was all clean, it was time to put it all back together and take a look at the final result. This piece was a whole lot of work, but I think it was well worth it. I could have easily just stained it a dark color to hide all of the scars and blemishes, but I really wanted to highlight all of the different types of wood that this piece was made from. The scars and blemishes just show that it had a very long life and hopefully it has many more years left in it. Now let's take a look at what was under all of that paint.